My name is Mike Johnston and I've been teaching for approximately nine years now. I am from Stewart, Florida and I went to undergrad at the University of Miami and I finished there in 2005 with a bachelor's degree in engineering. I worked afterwards at the Miami Center to Cure Paralysis and then started graduate school several years later and finished that at University of Florida with a master's degree in math and statistics. My teaching career is a little different. I'm a part-time instructor so I do this and I do several other things but as a part-time instructor it allows me opportunities to be involved in the community and have other jobs. Teaching was actually a serendipitous career so I did that accidentally. I ran into uh, my department chair and I met her at a function in Pensacola. My first department chair who was Wanda Cook and she asked uh, about my education and she was curious if I would ever be interested in teaching. I told her I would love to entertain the opportunity and that's how I started teaching nine years ago. So I've been doing that, uh, I've been doing that ever since. I believe in the Socratic method of education. I think it's important to be able to ask a student a question and then for the entertain an answer verbally. I, I think that we see that form of education in so many pragmatic fields of science and often it's not used in a lecture format. So, so if I'm able to ask a question of the students and they're able to respond correctly and I can correct them if they're wrong, uh, I think that they're learning and they're achieving a higher standard of education. I'm always learning not necessarily more about math and science, but I'm learning more about the pedagogy of education and how to adapt my ways of teaching to making sure the students have accessibility to learn. So I record my lectures so they're able to watch the lectures at any given time, at any given place. If a student's not able to make it to class for some reason, whether or not it's personal or it's employee related, I let them attend virtually from anywhere so that way they're not actively missing the lecture so they don't fall behind. One of the difficulties of teaching a one day a week course, especially in math, is that if you miss three hours of mathematics, you tend to miss a chapter, you tend to miss a lot of material, so you come back and you feel, the student feels like they're, they're strangulated, that they, they don't have the ability to, to, to bounce back. So I think providing these resources allows them to. It's neat to be able to see your students. It's neat to say these, these different walks of life come into your classroom and then eventually leave, and it's nice to follow their careers. That's, that's probably the best, the best outcome of teaching is that, you know, four or five years down the road, you see that they're now matriculating into medical school, or they're matriculating into a ARNP program, or they're starting a engineering master's degree. So you see this, you see them get their first jobs, and you see them get their first contracted salary. You see them for, get their first health benefit. And, and that's exciting. So being part of that progress, it sort of feel like I, I'm, you know, tangentially involved in all their lives, but maybe just at one unique point here, but I still follow it continuously. So I think that's the most rewarding part.